Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, BTC. Let's go. All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go down below, hit that subscribe button. While you're down there, if you can tap the like button, I'd really appreciate it. Bitcoin. On the weekly time frame right now, just kind of wanted to go over a little bit of what we've been talking about. We had a big move today. Um, let's zoom in here. So some interesting things are happening. If we look at the RSI and the trend directional to start, I've been kind of talking about how the beginning of the 20, uh, 20 cycle here is very similar to what's going on right now. And you can kind of see some the similarities happening right now. So... Uh, we had this peak right here, and then we had a big fall back in 2020, which is this right here. And then we started to form this triangle pattern here, which is if we go down to the daily time frame, let's do that. Uh, we'll be able to see that better. <clears throat> so we're down in the daily time frame, and I, this is just what I was talking about in the last video. Uh, so we had this big fall right here. Uh, and then we started to form this triangle pattern. And then once we broke out of the triangle pattern, we had a massive move to the upside. And so um, we go over to present time. And you can see that we broke out of this large falling wedge here. And then we came out of that wedge, formed this broadening wedge here, came back down, retested the falling wedge a couple of times, then had a big move. And then what I was saying last time is I felt like we were kind of in that triangle pattern again, but this time it's just another falling wedge. Uh, and so we started to form this falling wedge and we were at the bottom of the falling wedge in my, <clears throat> in my last video. And um, then we finally got the big push. And let me zoom in here so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, I had, I'm going to drop us down to the 12. No, let's go down to the four hour really quick. Uh, I had put up these lines here, uh, the green ones, for a rising wedge, which uh, tend to break down. And so I put this fib here expecting or, you know, waiting to see um, if there was going to be a fall down to the 618 before the breakout. Well, we just got the breakout right away, so we don't need this fib here anymore. And uh, then we've come up and we've hit basically the 2618 target that I have here. And I, I kind of feel like we might be going sideways for maybe a day or two um, uh, after hitting this 2618, possibly even getting a little bit of a retracement. Uh, we also don't need these this rising wedge here because that is no longer needed. And let's go down to the one hour so I can show you what I've got here. Uh, this to me is looking clearly like a one, two, three, and now we're looking for the fourth wave, which is going to be a longer uh, drawn out wave, I believe. And then the fifth wave. And so uh, breaking out of there, I mean, to me, this is a one, two. And then here's the third wave, which is the big push to the upside. And we're so far away from these moving averages. You can see this green cloud here is a couple of moving averages. I believe it's the 20 and the 50. And uh, normally when you get these uh, waves here uh, and the second wave is fairly quick, uh, that usually means that the fourth wave is going to be long and drawn out. And so my idea here is that for the next couple of days, um, and this is how I tested the target here. So let me do this for you. I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm using the um, trend-based FIB extension. And so I go down to the first wave, and I click, and then I click up to the top of the wave, and I go down to the um, wave two here. <coughs> And you can see that there was some resistance at the 1618. But let me open this up to the, what do I have there? No, it's the uh, 2618. There we go. And so now we've got, so I, I first off, the third wave usually goes to at least the 1618 uh, and obviously possibly higher. And so the next target would have been the 2618, which is what it hit. And it kind of looks like we're finding resistance there. You can see that we're completely overbought here on the RSI on the one hour. 
uh, on the trend directional. Looks like it needs to cool off for a little bit. Uh, and this is the volume I've been talking about in my videos for the last couple of days. Uh, in all my videos that I've been talking about, I've been saying we need to see some volume, a nice volume breakout uh, for this to mean anything. And so you can see that we've got the volume here. Uh, it's definitely larger than most of the volume, actually all of the volume all the way through this whole time period. And uh, now it looks like we just need some time to cool off. And so I'm kind of just thinking we hit our 2618 target and now we're going to cool off and go sideways for a little bit. Probably form some kind of a pattern would be my guess. So I'd be looking out for maybe a falling wedge, a triangle pattern, um, just some kind of a pattern here and on this fourth wave and then we'll be going up to the fifth wave which if we want to calculate the fifth wave we need to know where the fourth wave um starts i guess or the fifth wave starts uh the fourth wave ends and so the fourth wave is a corrective wave and let's just say that it goes right here and how you'll check that target for the fifth wave is you'll move this up to wherever the fourth wave uh ends and then that is where you'll find your fifth wave and usually the fifth wave comes up to the one, um, which is usually the same length as your first wave here. And so that's, uh, if this is to play out like this, this is what I would expect. Something is a sideways action, find the fourth wave and then find, and that'll tell us where the fifth wave is usually going to go. Uh, looking like around, I mean, if this were to play out, this would be around 29, 200, but that, I don't know if that's how it's going to play out. We just got to find out, uh, for the fourth wave here. And, um, then from then on, uh, we're probably going to find some kind of a ABC correction here, possibly even coming all the way back down to find some support here, um, retesting things, and then we can hopefully kick off uh, further to the upside. Now, I mean, this all depends because a lot of this uh, volume and a lot of this action is because of all the news that's coming out. Every you know, in, every bank. All the big names are coming in and filing for ETFs, for Bitcoin ETFs. Um, you know, uh, Fidelity is coming out with some kind of exchange. I can't remember what that was, the EDX or whatever it is, uh, exchange. And so there's a lot of um, bullishness in the market right now. Uh, and so that is driving this move. Now, uh, because of the news, that could actually push this a lot higher. Uh, than it is right now and maybe this scenario actually won't play out and we'll just continue on higher uh, so we'll just have to wait and see but that's kind of a thought that i have that could be happening as we're creating this fourth wave and also you got to remember this is the one hour chart so i mean this is pretty low time frame here so whether this completes and then i mean we can just go to the four hour and um, this for the four hour could just be a first wave and then you'll get so it could end up being this could be wave one Here's your wave two to retest the breakout. Your wave three could bring us a lot higher on the four hour. So, I mean, it's all, you know, based on the time frame as well. It could look something like that as well in the four hour. Um, so, uh, although the four hour does look like it needs to cool off as well. Uh, and then we go to the 12 hour here and we got a nice break above the zero line on the trend directional. We're getting into the overbought section on the RSI, which is a good sign. I like to see that. The more overbought we get, that means they're, the bulls are in the market. And uh, that way we can continue on to the upside. But that's basically what I've got for Bitcoin right now. Uh, good breakout based off of news and there are a lot of people buying. I saw that people don't think that this is a short squeeze. I probably would agree with them. Um, and so this looks like just the big players or somebody's buying because of the news. Somebody knows something, um, that we all don't know. And well, I mean, maybe they know something more, but we all know the ATFs and the uh, exchange is coming out. Uh, and I mean, BlackRock is like 99.9%. Um, when they file for an ETF, they get it. I mean, I think they've only had one ETF denied. And so, Pretty much there's going to be a Bitcoin ETF this year, I believe. Um, and so we'll just have to wait and see. And that is definitely driving the price. That's pretty much what I got for Bitcoin. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Share it with your friends. And I'll talk to you later.